right. Um, first meeting, we've got everybody here. That's good. It's good. So far, so good, Ryan. Um, a little golf club? Good. Yeah. Um, you know, about Long Beach. You know, I just said this to the pitchers. Uh, you look at the record, they're three and six. But don't get fooled by that. All right, you know, you're, smart, you're smarter than that. Now, this team you know, is an Omaha-type team. This is a team, a program that hosts regionals. You know, this is one of the best West Coast teams. That's why we're out here. Okay? And so it is a test. And when you, when you look at it, don't get caught up in that. But one of the things when you hear about this West Coast baseball or you know, West, you know, the butt game and all of that, um, let me ex make sure, and I wanted to say this for everybody. They do it because teams screw it up. Right? They do it because teams can't handle it. It's not because they just can't hit so they chose to bunt this year. This is part of who they are. Give this team extra outs and the way they pitch, the game becomes tougher. That doesn't mean that you know, it's over, it just makes it tougher. And so we got to be better in the field, smarter, field the bunts, defend the steal, make them earn it. Make them have to get hits to win. The Ole Miss Rebels take the field for the first time here in Long Beach. Ryan Rollison to the mound, the sophomore left-hander, 6'3", 205, 2 0 on the year, .90 earned run average. Even with the scouting report and the dominant Rollison on the mound, the Rebels would learn early that defending the small ball approach of Long Beach would be a much larger task than anticipated. It's going around a bunt here as Durant gets it back out, right back to Rollison. He will throw over to the second baseman covering first, but Andrew, excuse me, Duran, beats him to the bag. Rawson with the runner going, the pitch comes home. Fortes' throw is not in time. Trying to help his own cause. Duran takes off a huge lead. The ball is high. Duran steals third base without a throw. Yeah, and small ball. I mean, we, we've gone to the West Coast, and this is how they play. They're going to try to bump the runners over. They like to run. They like to steal. Uh, that was our first time this year that we've really faced, you know, an opponent like that. That uh, you know, they played the small ball game a lot. That's how they live by it. And uh, you know, I think, like I said, we just got a little rattled. You know, really, they just do that to put pressure on our defense. And uh, we knew coming in, but you know, it's kind of hard to handle. But it's it's just baseball. Because when you go like this and you go like that, and they hop off, you got no shot. You know what I'm saying? Or go like this and go. And then go, you, you, you know what I'm saying? And don't be getting that frustrated too much of what just happened. You know, it's, it's a baseball, you know what I'm saying? But that's how you're going to defend it. 37 pitches now for Ryan Rollison into the windup here. And a tapper back to the plate. Duran trying to come home. And he is going to be caught in a rundown between third and home. But the ball is dropped momentarily by the third baseman. Duran is still in a rundown. Rasmussen will be at second base. And now they're going to say there was interference over at third base. There was contact with one of the fielders in the Long Beach runner, and Long Beach is gonna get a run on a play that they had absolutely no business getting a run on. Well, you know, I just don't think we handled it very well, but that's one of the reasons that you go on the road. And uh, and we, you know, probably the frustrating thing, I think, for us is we knew what to expect. You know, we, we knew about the, the stolen base, we, we knew about the, the bunts, and we just didn't handle it very well. And uh, that's why teams do it. They put a lot of pressure on you, and, and obviously Long Beach is good at it, but uh, we didn't handle ourselves very well. And, you know, that's disappointing. But, you know, the good news is we were able to recover. Come here. Okay, listen to me. This is not what any of us wanted, all right? But this is why we came, right? To see if you were tough enough, right? You want to be good, you got to handle it. This is the reason we're here, all right? You can crawl into a hole and say I'm embarrassed, or you can just start competing. I want to see guys that'll compete for me right now, all right? That's what I want to see. Go, go, go. Breaking ball, lined in the right field for a base hit. Andrews ready, and a line shot. That's over second base and into the gap in right center. Here comes Johnson around third. He will score easily. Zabowski will be held at third. It's an RBI double for the freshman, Tim Elko. Here's the pitch, hustle, shot, hustle, 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 third hustle. on a short hop, but then having trouble with it is Robinson as he couldn't get out of his glove, he loses it. Everybody is safe, Elko scores the second Ole Miss run. Two outs, runners at the corners, 3-2 game. Brown ball down to third, and it goes right through the legs of Robinson for another air. Servideo comes in to score on his way to third is Kessinger, he's in there, and we're tied at three apiece.
despite the red and blue battling their way back. In the end, the dirtbag bullpen would close the door. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Servideo goes down swinging. And the Rebels go down for the first time this year as they fall 4-3 here in game one of the doubleheader. Echoing what I just said a few minutes ago of you know being able to uh, go on the road and, and have some adversity, we don't all we want to win them all. And then you want to win them all big, uh, but you're not. And sometimes it's good that you kind of get get in those situations. And we responded pretty well. Um, it's not hard, right? It's not hard to figure out, right? It, you can't win the game like that unless you're going to score a ton of runs, right? You know you can't play like that. It's just and so. I said it in the middle of the game, and I meant it, and I mean it now. This is why we're here, right? At the end of each video, it says good, okay? And what that means is you gotta handle the adversity. We'll have days like this, right? We'll have days where we weren't good. We'll have days where it's hard to figure out the other guy. But you gotta have enough confidence in yourselves and the way you play the game that we can make a play, get off the field. So this is the deal. This is why we're here, okay? We're here to be tested. First loss, nobody thought we'd be 56-0, really? Right, there's not a guy in this locker room that thought we'd be 56-0 and it was never the goal to be 56-0. We just want to get better each day, right? Today, so far, we haven't played real well. Let's see our first handle, of, you know, the first chance to handle adversity, how well we'll handle it, all right? Get something to eat, get ready for a baseball game, come on.